Another big box at box 22. Getting closer to box 25. And of course it's big because there's big parts in here. Better stay tuned, this is your Geek Fix. I'm sweating. I'm sweating because there's just such big stuff happening. Uh, I just received or just completed uh, box number 21. Now we're on to box 22. And again, this is out of 25. So we're getting super close to the end. Things are coming together where basically as I look around, there's not really much to do. I mean, really it's just about connecting the major parts at this point. So, uh, get rid of that part. Uh, wow, I like these. Look at look at some of these parts. The, all these little venti cut areas. Um, I wonder how they cut that actually. If that's oh yeah, look at that. Very cool. Um, I think I'm getting into some more wings and things now, and even more of these little vents. Um, pretty exciting. And then of course. More of our base. Uh, looks like, I don't know how many pieces we need. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We need two more of these. Oh no, yeah, maybe two more of these to be able to complete it. Uh, and then we got our magazine. Getting more into the, the history of Iron Man. Um, going back kind of to the beginning. There's some things that they just kind of go back and give more details on. I am kind of surprised because I think that this set of magazines and this kit has been around for a while and yet uh, some things that they put into them are from really recent movies and episodes as well as uh, comics that have come out um, and I'm not sure how they did that unless they unless they've attended some of the previous ones um, and so uh, yeah, kind of kind of interesting. We also get in a glimpse into some of the uh, stuff that's now coming out, uh, like you know Wasp and and uh, some of the Pym adventures, which I don't know doesn't really have anything to do. You wouldn't think with Iron Man, but at the same time, uh, and then you have <laughs> I think this this whole series is kind of cool. I wish they'd make some toys related to it. Then you could. Uh, have them unite. We're gonna be starting with, uh, let's see here, 83. I mean, again, consider we're gonna be finishing today uh, number 86. And so four more after that, which would be the next kit, would be getting into 90. And then two kits after that, this, this is correct. Three more, you know, three more boxes and we're done. Um, so at any rate, yep. Here we go, box, or I should say, uh, stage 83. Um, stage 83, let's see, 85. I think this is it right here, 83, yep. I feel like I always should warn you when there's loose screws, and there are loose screws in this one, in case you do build along. Uh, these are SP screws. Ooh, I like, I like the paint job, man. This one looks nice, nice, nice. Love it. Oh, I see what we're doing. Oh, this is great. This is really cool. Okay. It might look like not very much that we're putting together in this one, but at the same time, it will look cool. So, so it's this piece right here. We're starting with this one that has the, kind of like the little vents right there. And what we're doing is we're flipping it over and we're taking this right here and we're going to be, really? <laughs> it seems not big enough. Is that really true? Is that the right one? That's what it says. Okay. No, no, that's not it. I don't know why they showed it that way. I, I see. Okay, so now we're taking this one right here. That one right there. Um, and so, we're gonna be taking that piece and we're gonna be sticking uh, this just like, oh, I gotta flip it over, that's the problem. Just like, just like this. Oh, and I gotta fold it. Ooh, I don't like that. 
This makes me nervous. Why are we doing this? So I'm basically, I'm taking this and I'm gonna bend it down so that it fits around this piece once when I hook it onto this piece. That's why, okay. So this piece right here goes on the outside like this. It just didn't explain it very well. So first, so first thing I'm gonna be doing is I take this piece right here and I stick it onto this piece just like that. So now I'm gonna have this little wing that's gonna come up, which is cool. You'd think that would be cool enough, but what's cool, really cool is I'm now gonna take this part, flip it over, I put it in here, and then this is supposed to bend. Ugh, I really don't like the way I'm gonna do this. Uh, okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I guess <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I did it though, I think. Uh, but anyway, we bent it. So now this is on the inside, right? Just like that. And then, and then I'm gonna be uh, probably sticking a pin through it, I would guess. I don't have a pin. Oh no, I'm putting, I'm putting, a, I'm putting this piece on first, this direction over that first. Okay, so I'm gonna slide it down on top of where I bent it then, like this. How do you make sure that all those holes are lined up? That's gonna be hard. Okay, I trust it. Oh man, fully lined up, but whatever. We're gonna be sticking these really long screws through. One on each side, I'm guessing. Yep, so these screws that it came with, these, I think they're SP. But they do need to fit through both sets of holes. So I'm gonna make sure that my holes go all the way through first. I think I at least have one side, and if I get one side, I can probably make the other side work. It, it's going through. I'm gonna do the other side a little bit too before before it gets too out of whack. It's in line right now. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's like if I move fast enough, it's not gonna it's gonna it's not gonna move or something. <laughs> did I I did it. I did it, do it. Like everything else, even though I'm doing plastic to plastic, I'm still gonna tighten it as much as I can because I do have that metal in between. Kind of acts as a. So I guess when it goes up, it will look like this. Like that. What do you think of that? Is that pretty cool? It's kind of cool. So close it down onto there, close it down onto there. All right, yeah. Darn straight. Let's do another one of those. I see that there is another one. Is that the next one though? Uh, yes. Yes it is the next one, I think. No, it's not. I don't know, maybe it is. Um, yes, it is, similar. Similar to the same. So this one's 84. Same kind of thing, not exactly the same, I guess. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is the same. I like being able to do some of these repetitive things, especially when they're kind of difficult. Because then I don't forget what I did to make it work. You know? I feel much more confident doing these parts this time. Because now I know how it's supposed to work, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I know, for example, I know that these go on first. Doing it without even reading it, because eh, I'm so awesome. And then, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to make these pieces go like this. So this is where it gets a little tricky, right like, Right like that. And I close it down around that, just like that. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of angle. That's what made it, 
It's really what made it work last time. So I needed a little bit of an angle at the end, otherwise it didn't line up with my holes. So now I am ready. Up, oh, I got two new screws. I was gonna say I don't have enough, but I do. I've actually got a couple extra now. I still have some from last time. Okay, and they are ready for me to stick in there as soon as I flip this over. So, so the key is what I'm doing is I slide this over those bend parts so that it fits, and then I hope those holes are right where I need them. Uh, I think the easiest way to approach it too is from this side, but it's a little bit more shallow. Yep, let's wait. Okay. Hmm, I think that one went in right off the bat. And slammer jammer, okay. Is the other one also lined up? It is! This one's way easier than the other side. I don't know if it's just because I figured out how to do it, or if it's because the hole just lined up better, I think. All right. I'm gonna tighten those in really good too, just like it did on the other side. And again, the way that this works, you got one fin that comes up, maybe. There we go. Maybe these don't need to be that tight because they aren't really like major joints. I do want to be able to move them later. I don't want it to be too hard. Uh, maybe I'll just loosen them a tad here. So, like that. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the level I should have them. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just a wee bit of a turn. And then that way, when I go to open it, it won't be too difficult. Yep. Although then it wants to take, oh, look at that though. Maybe that's how it's supposed to work, is you lift up one, then it lifts up the other one. I don't know. I could tighten it a little bit more. Yep, okay. Very, very cool. How about, how about that? So, like that. Anyway, cool, 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 cool. And, oh, there's more so, oh no, I just did it all in advance because I was so smart. 85, oh, are we attaching it to the back of the back for doing back stuff? And maybe even wrapping it up? I don't know. Uh, this is this one. 85, yep. This is all pretty exciting. Uh, again, loose screws. There it goes. Two sets, in fact. Put those there. Oh. Gotta open it up first. Love these details. Very cool. All right. Don't love having to bend parts. That is not, that's not a fun part for me. But at any rate, and unfortunately on this one, we have to do it freely. So basically you just stick this in, which stick this, ah! <laughs> and stick this inside like that. And then we're just bending it around that part. So I have less leverage than I did on the other one. <sighs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, and. Okay. All right, did one. Got it, got through it. Still painful, but not as painful as it could have been. And one, two, three, and a little bit faster because I'm more confident. Look at that. Okay. So, now we got these parts, and next, what we will be doing is taking the part that we just made. Uh, I gotta figure out which side to which side here. Hang on. So this one, this one right here, for example, 
would be attaching to this one right here. So we kind of fold that over that. Hope that the hole is lined up. It looks like it is. Yes, it is. Right at the moment. At the moment it is. I'll have to kind of really watch it as I'm trying to send the screw through. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting through more screws. This time, uh, these ones are even longer, actually. So these screws right here are TP screws. And I think I'm going to use my black screwdriver this time. smaller hole than the other one was. So little little tricky. But if I did line it up right, which I think I did, maybe. We'll find out. this look to it. Look at that. That's neat. Okay. Did that. I've done it once. And if I've done it once, I can do it again. These are these are fragile parts though. Uh, okay. So might as well grab my other one now. This one right here. And again, it's not that one. This one right here. And again, we're just trying to make this fit right over this. That's when I have it in place. Okay, it looks like the holes are pretty good too. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Ooh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Let's see. I think, I think the holes are right where they need to be. I'm really surprised that it's been, it's been working out so far. Um, hopefully it continues to. Okay, so, look at that, so yeah, kind of like have, uh, kind of like butterfly thing going on, at any rate, and then those will close down, I'm sure it'll make more sense when it's hooked on to the back of something, I think it's back, uh, whoa, here we are, here we are. Boys and girls, I'm gonna take that back that we worked on last time in our last build. It's right there. And now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be attaching those. Do you remember when we put in these greeblies last time too? I'm gonna be attaching these onto the top of that, right here, supposedly. What? <laughs> Am I though? Oh, right here, sorry. Right here, right next to them. So, yeah, I'm probably trying to connect the wrong side to the wrong side is the issue. That is the problem. So I need to do it on this side, like this. Ooh, fancy. Um, and this will be using IP screws. Now let's see, IP screws, right here. Boy, two years later, you can start to hear some of the craziness come out of my voice as I'm trying to make this work. Um, love the fact that the stuff that could be really hard. Now, I had some problems, some other parts that we did that screwed into metal, like this. I didn't like the fact that it was one screw last time, but, um, ooh, look at that. There it is. 
There's that one. You pull up the other one too. That looks pretty good. And now, just to uh, do it on the other side. Same thing. Uh, same kind of screw. So. They look like bat wings the way that they show it in the picture. You know, I don't know what this tangent is. Bat wings is thinking about Albert, and then I thought about, <laughs> then I thought about who uh, is the equivalent in, in Iron Man. Of course, that'd be Happy, who we just learned about in several of the magazines. But also, you know, Happy's role, the individual that played Happy, originally wasn't supposed to uh, be an ongoing main role and not only was it but uh in fact he uh he just kind of did it just out of just for kicks um so the fact that it turned out to be an ongoing thing is kind of funny but anyway look at that so all these little pieces that are there it's very cool very cool looking so yeah like i said Looks like, looks like the bat, it's like some kind of bat wing thing uh, going on. But anyway, and then when I close them down, just like that, and just like that. Uh, very neat. All right, we've got that really cool back done. And is there another magazine? There is, 86. What could be happening next? I mean, honestly, this is usually where we'd be done uh, with doing things for the day, but uh, it looks like, ooh, it looks like we're putting things together finally. Uh, so we wanna make sure that I read these instructions closely here. Uh, so I'm bringing the front piece back around, this piece right here. So yeah, this piece right here, I'm gonna bring this part right around, and then what I'm doing, taking the front part of the chest structure from issue 80, Make sure that the reactor mast, 72, am I actually putting in the reactor mast? Uh, yeah, it's correctly, carefully place the rear part of the chest from issue 85 onto the front. Oh, onto this part, all right, is that what you're asking? Um, so we wanna make sure so this little pokey part, I think, is the what it's asking about, um, which is going to be what turns on and off our arc reactor. So now the thing I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to take the back of this and hook it onto here, and I'm using my screwdriver to keep that one piece, the part that's going to turn on and off this part right here, it's going to turn on and off our light on the front keep it straight so that I can fit it into this little hole that's in the back. Um, and so, at the same time, I also need to be able to link things together in just such a way that will actually let me link them. And that's not as easy as it sounds. It's... Did I do it? No, did I? Sort of, mostly, mostly. Did I do it? I did it! <laughs> oh man. Oh, why was that so hard? That was so hard. Okay, but we did it. We did it, that's all that matters at this point. What kind of screws do I need to be using here? Let's just get this thing together before it pops out. Cause something tells me it's gonna pop out. Uh, what kind? What are we doing? I am screws. One, two. Okay, and they go underneath these wings right here. So, one. Why? In the world, what happened? Okay, there's one right there, and two right here. Oh, yeah. I know I've got some extras somewhere. 
definitely gonna make this part tight, right? Okay. And tight, tight, tight. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice and tight. It looks all the way around, it all fits, and to make sure that that button works, um, we're gonna stick this onto here, just like this, and when I push this little tiny, teeny tiny button sticking at the back right here, and push on that, it will turn on our arc reactor. Look at that! Ha ha! Huzzah! Um, very good, okay. There's two other screws we haven't done yet. Oh, there are two more IM screws. And two. Okay, so I can close it all up like this. Or I can open it all up uh, like like this, and like that, and like that. Yeah. Okay. So look at that. Definitely having some bat features now. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people might look at that and be like, "What is that?" Um, anyway, so close this down. Close this down. Close it down. Looks like that, and then we got that button now at the back, and it will turn on our arc reactor. So, is that everything? No, there is more. What? Oh, very interesting. I could have sworn that was gonna be it. Yeah, usually that's where they would end. Um, now, we're gonna be, uh... wait. Oh yeah, that's why I have enough parts. Now we're bringing over these parts right here. So I got this one right here. I got these two wings right here. Or I don't know if they're wings, they're covers. I got a couple of small greeblies, which I gotta keep track of here. There we go. These are always tricky. The last time I had a glue in one of them, I think. Uh, okay. We bring this back over here. And I open up my wings again here, like this. And then I'm gonna take these, and all that I'm doing with them is just covering up these open spots. Just like just by pushing down on them, I guess. Like that. And then this one over here, push down like that. Yeah, just like that. Alright. And then we take these little pieces and we're putting them, oh, up above. Also covering up my screw holes that I just used. That's why we didn't put them in before is because I had to be able to tighten those. Um, and they go in like, uh, like so, I guess. Is this right? Let me just make sure here. Hmm. That is the what it that's what it looks like. Yep, okay. So they have these angled pegs though, so I have to kind of like slide them in also at an angle. And then hope that they all go in. I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous about it. Ah, I don't want to break them. Oh I see where they are. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're ready. Ready? One, two, maybe. One, two, and three. There it goes. That one. That was not as smooth as I would have hoped. But, uh, you know, you do what you do. That one went in pretty smooth. Okay. And then these little tiny ones actually go onto this thing right here. Uh, and, wait, we're not putting them on? We're just holding on to them? I don't like that at all. Ooh, I really don't like that. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in just so I don't lose them. Uh, that way, even if I have to put screws through those, nope. Dang it. Ooh, don't like that. I really don't like that. Let me bring back my plastic part. Is that this one? Yeah. I'll bring that back, put them in there. And then that way, I've got something. Okay, so I'll put that over here for a moment and put this out of the way so that now we can make room. Bring over my magazine here. Same thing as last time it looks like. So we're just doing the next set. I'll put them together first and then I'll attach them to the base. So, basically, basically, uh, Pull this part off here and that. And then we'll take these out, that out, that out. So I'm going to continue to have one extra one of these, which I'll put over here. Uh, I've got two of these now, two stickers which are stuck together at the moment. There we go. And uh, what I want is I want to be placing it so that uh, I'm removing this set of sticker first. Like this. Hmm. If I can. Maybe not. It doesn't matter too much, I guess. Which side I get to come off. And then, the hard thing is, be nice if they had some like pull tabs or something that helped you just separate it without a lot of drama and problems here. So once when I got that, I can now just take that, put it like this. Okay, there it goes. Just like that. And we take it and we orient it this direction like that. So that's one LED. I'm bringing over the other one now. Again, I'm just going to take whichever side comes off first. Yep, same side. I don't know why they're doing the yellow side when the other one's the one that seems to be coming off. And then, uh -huh. that. bring this over to here, like that, and then uh, putting those out of the way for a second, and So now I'm gonna hook this one into here like this, and that one into here like that. And now, I'm gonna turn it over. And as you can see, I now have these four pieces that are in there. And that leaves only two more that we'll need. So um, basically, one more kit will complete a majority of this, of this base. Um, gotta just wipe it off a little bit, but at the same time, pretty cool. Wanna thank Fan Home for providing us with this model to be able to review. 
but they also gave us a promo code. So if you're interested in purchasing this, use the code Tony Stark. Also, I'll continue to review these as they come out. So if you can't get it, uh, you can also experience this by proxy. Remember to like, subscribe, comment below, keep watching. This is your Geek Fix.